friends, this video shares my path to avoid business or career overwhelm and was made from my heart to yours. By looking directly at what we fear, we can see things more clearly. Just focus on the facts and what's actually happening right now, not what might in the future. Overwhelm can be caused by many work situations. It happens when a stressful situation gets to be just too much for us to handle. We often experience it when we have a heavy volume of work and our to-do lists is daunting. In these cases, you can engage in time management strategies like delegating tasks, taking things off your to-do list, learning to create boundaries and say no to more things. All very effective to lessen the burden and create more breathing room. But what if you've done that and still feel overwhelmed? There are also many cases where the overwhelm is not even related to your volume of work. There can be a lot going on in your mind to make us feel stressed and like it's all too much. Perhaps you have a very important project you're under a lot of pressure to do well in, or you're waiting to hear back about something important and all the uncertainty is putting you on edge. In these cases, dealing with overwhelm is more about managing our thought processes and less about managing our time or the tasks. At the office, I had to give a big presentation. It went well, but I barely had time to breathe afterwards. With a full day's worth of urgent tasks to attend to, I was tired, strung out, not feeling good. My solution? I left everything behind. I went for a walk around the streets of the office block. It was freezing cold. I was thinking out loud half the time, just working through all the things on my mind. I probably looked like a crazy person. After an hour, I was back at work and getting stuff done. Sometimes we all get overwhelmed. The trick is to find a way to reset quickly so you can recover and get back to what you need to do. I want to share with you five of the best tactics to make that happen. Number one, worry never works. Let your worry go. It won't be easy, but do it anyway. Write it down, walk it off, shift your thoughts and keep letting it go. And then do that again and again and again. Number two, if you honor every request with a yes, you will compromise your health, family, peace of mind, and the joy of living your life. If you don't say no, there will be nothing left of you to say yes to. Number three, Instead of downplaying or dismissing your feelings when things are heavy or you are overwhelmed, trust them. If it feels too much, it most probably is too much. Number four, holding the weight of other people's expectations is overwhelming, but it's not your responsibility. Isn't it time to live the life you dreamed about instead of the one others expect of you? The expectations were never yours to meet. Number five, it's always a good time to be grateful and that means expressing thanks even when you aren't feeling your best or when you are feeling overwhelmed. Even in the dark times, there are things to be thankful for. It may be more challenging to feel or express your gratitude, but then it's even more important to do so. Don't wait for things to be good to be grateful. I also want to touch on beating business overwhelm when you are self-employed. No one likes feeling stressed out at work. Beating business overwhelm is high on everyone's list of priorities, whether they re realize it or not. Often going unspoken in the workplace, the topic of stress is one that often gets brushed under the carpet with feelings of inadequacy or shame. There can be a certain stigma around admitting that you're struggling, almost as if it's a sign of weakness. First things first, repeat after me, I am not alone. Although stress can feel incredibly isolating, it is worth trying to remember that most people go through stages of work-related anxiety at some stage or another. Working for yourself can often feel lonely and this can compound your feelings of work-related overwhelm. Not having anyone who you can turn to can seriously increase those feelings of stress and anxiety. Recognize a bad day when you've had one and make the effort to reach out to a friend, a 
family member, or another small business owner who you can talk to. Sharing your worries with a sympathetic ear will help you to overcome the stressful times at work. Pay attention to how you are feeling. There's this old saying, pay attention to the tension. Feeling overwhelmed is a sign. It's a signal to shift something from your mindset to your schedule. You have the power to cancel something or to say no, thank you. You are brave enough to make a small change that will ease your overwhelm. You have the option of deciding what matters to you and making room for whatever that is. I know it isn't easy. The good stuff usually isn't, but it's worth it. Notice when you are feeling overwhelmed and choose to pause and remind yourself that you can turn things around inch by inch, step by step, and thought by thought. If you found this video helpful, please share it with a friend. Go and subscribe, follow us on all our social media platforms for more inspiration. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a review of our Win at Work podcast, where you will hear amazing inspirational stories of women who are doing it scared.